Hey guys, this is Derek here. This is gonna be a few creepy pastas that I've um I'm gonna be talking about when I was exploring abandoned houses back in my day. Like I'm not doing it anymore. I may do a f video on it, maybe when my friend comes here, but we'll see. It, I'm just because I don't want him to get hurt or anything. So yeah, but anyways, this was one with my friend. And one with Anna in it as well. Um, which I haven't talked to in fucking several years. We haven't, we haven't talked f since the event. So, I'm going to be talking about this abandoned house which was near the park. It's was actually abandoned for a few years. And its roof came off and everything. And all scary as fuck. Um, so, me and my friend... Uh, no, 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 not me and my friend. Me and Anna were in the house. Not doing anything, like, bad or anything, but... We were just in it exploring. You know, chilling around and shit. When I saw a lone chair sitting in the middle of the fucking room. With a creepy doll on it. And me and her were fucking around... I kicked the fucking chair over as, literally as hard as I can, just to show off. I was a really showing off kid back then, I'm not much anymore. And I was very stupid as well. The chair went flying into the window, shattering it. Um, I usually wasn't vandalizing, so I actually was kind of worried about that thought. I didn't vandalize. Not, even back in my day, I didn't vandalize. Because I know that it was bad, and yeah. So, I ran off, and Anna ran as well. We jumped over the fence we came through. There was a front door that was open, but we usually jumped through the fence. Because there was a massive gaping hole in it. And we did that. And, yeah, there was people in the house after the event. They boarded everything off, even the hole through the fence. But they forgot to board up the door for the, some fucking dumb reason. So, me and Anna went back in, the chair was up, and I didn't see them go in the fucking house. So, I was like, what the fuck? And Anna was not with me that time, that was just me by myself. And I was like, nah, fuck this, and I ran off, like, as fast as I fucking can. I was scared shitless that day, and I, I still am, because that abandoned house is still there, I think. Oh no, someone, no, someone made that thing. Been fixed it. Alright, fair enough. But that was fucking scary. I've never been in that house ever since that event. Creepy pasta number two. Me and my friend were at this asbestos house. I wouldn't went in there, of course. Um, this was with um, who was in? Oh no, this was with Anna again. She wasn't an abandoned house freak or anything, but yeah, I used to play with her a lot. In my day. So, um, yeah, well, we're in the abandoned house. Well, not in it, we're outside the front door. Trying to go in, but why the fuck did. She was daring me to go in there, by the way. She was like, uh, you're a scaredy cat and stuff. And I actually went in there. Stupid person that I was. Um,. Everything was burnt inside. It looked like a millionaire's mansion, but everything was burnt. I think that was the richest house on the block at one point. I went in there, and, uh... You know... You guys know Mothman? That guy? Yeah. I saw something that looked similar to him in the fucking corner of the room. And he was looking at me with red eyes. And I was like... I stared at him, and then Anna was like, what the fuck are you looking at? And I said, come in, and look. And she saw, she, she saw it too. And we bolted out the fucking house. He started running at us, and like, I, I don't know why. It was running at us, but that house is still up to this day. Still sitting right behind my house. It could come to my house at any fucking moment. So, that's what's scary about it. Um, 
that is actually quite scary. I'm doing some of these Halloween things. It's for Halloween, because I want to do something for Halloween. So, literally, it was right there by the fucking window. Um, like, one day, when my parents went home, I was actually quite fucking scared, and it went away afterwards. So, um, yeah, it's another creepypasta from, um, an abandoned house number two, but abandoned house number three, me and my friend Chase were in an abandoned house looking around, um, again, he's moved away after the years, um, he had a divorce with his parents, so... He usually lived with his mother. I think. No, he used to live with his dad. Because his mother was somewhere else. And then, basically, we are exploring this abandoned house. We weren't meant to. Um, but we went in there anyways. The savage people we thought, that we, thought we were. We were in there, exploring. Um, this one was basically partly down the there was nothing really on it. Again, it's been knocked down over the years. But one side of the fucking house just came off, basically. And it was on at the angle, and it was about to fall. Um, this is not really scary. I almost died in an event, though. Um, that's what makes it scary. Uh, a piece of roof came falling down right near where I was standing. And fell and hit my leg. And I was like, what the fuck? It didn't hurt. It was just scraping against my leg. But, yeah, that was something scary as well. Another abandoned house. Me and this other kid called Brock went in there. Uh, it was pretty good. It was actually one of the decently like, built houses. It looked like someone was living in there, which probably someone was. There was old TVs in there, which we wanted to get, but nah. That were old anyways. That was at the time. I don't really steal nowadays at all. I never really stole, but Brock was thinking that. So, yeah. So, me and Brock were in the house looking around. Yet again. Well, I saw a homeless person. Um, he literally looked at, like, both of us. And it started bolting at us. And I was like, the fuck? And then, literally, because there was this bar above the door, he wanted to look cool. He swung off it and went smashing into the chain link fence that was outside. And I was like, you stupid child. And then I started running out. Like, I left him behind. I didn't give a fuck. I left him behind. And the homeless person just beat the shit out of him. Like, no shit. I feel bad for doing that, but... <laughs> Survival of the fittest, none the fucking fittest. <sighs> I went out of that one alive. It might have, maybe that's why I got bashed up by the bullies that day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's all my abandoned house stories for today. Maybe if I think about more, I'll share them. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next creepypasta video. Peace out.